that incident with your ex-girlfriend, Ulrika yes. Johnson, was there any correlation between the depression and that? No, none at all. Take full responsibility. Um, it was pure jealousy. It was a relationship that wasn't healthy. Both of us, neither of us covered ourselves in glory in the relationship generally. There was nothing physical prior to what happened in Paris. Uh, but there was a falling out, let's say. Um, I decided to go to Paris to give us support for a television programme. There were certain things that were said on the evening that I felt humiliating. It culminated in a bar and I struck her. And is it something that I live with every day? Absolutely. Is it something that I'm greatly remorseful for? Absolutely. I apologised at the time and I've apologised every time I've been asked since. Um, it's not violence against women. It's violence or the threat of violence towards anybody. Um, genuinely, I feel that's not me or my makeup. I always remember my mum saying to me, uh, because she suffered quite badly domestic violence when I was a child. You know, never lay your hands on a woman. So again, another thing that came back to haunt me was my mum's words. And she was desperately disappointed. Um, but by the same token, it's kind of like I've forgiven myself for the years that have passed in between. I still think I get punished with it. I think that, for example, I think in the UK that's very different. I think that particularly with some television companies in particular, the, the, the bosses have said, we'd love to use you, but you're the guy that hit Ulrika Johnson. Um, why that would be relevant now, I'm not quite sure, 18, 19 years on. I think there is a little hypocrisy in the way certain racial groups are stereotyped when it comes around violence. I'll give you a classic example. Um, in certain newspapers and tabloids, when I've been reported, it's been Stan Collymore that hit, that famously hit girlfriend Dorica Johnson in 1998, even now if it was written in The Sun tomorrow, something about me. Paul Gascoigne is Paul, football legend Paul Gascoigne. Um, I have a major problem with that. Why? Because... What happened with Ulrika Johnson, whether you threaten to hit somebody, whether you hit somebody, or whether you hit somebody 50 or 60 times, they're all wrong, all of them, from beginning to end. But Paul came out and admitted to serially abusing his wife over quite some period of time, and still was offered jobs on television, still was offered, even when he was very poorly, jobs on television where he was barely coherent. Yet here's a another pundit that almost feels that he has to go out of his way on a day-to-day -day basis to still apologise for that and deal with it on, on Twitter and other social media. Very good at what I do, won awards for what I do, but it still gets brought up as a sort of, we're not quite sure. Another example would be um, Joey Barton. Joey Barton was sent to prison Um I think several assaults, but one in particular. And when these two guys are written about, it's footballer, 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 or legend in Gaza's case, da 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 da. And then it comes somewhere down page three, four, five, whenever it is, column three, four, five. Stan Collymore, it's always at the beginning. And so I ask myself the question why is that? Logically, why is that? Is it me? Is it something about my personality that people don't like? Um. And I don't think it is. I think there is... If I was to sit and tweet tonight and say, I genuinely believe it's because I am from a different racial background, I'll get a lot of people on Twitter saying, playing the race card, etc., etc., etc. But when I'm written about, and when I'm thought about, I'm thought about completely differently to Paul Gascoigne and Joey Barton than particularly in Paul's case, that came out and gave a very, very graphic account of serial abuse over a long period of time with his wife. Yet it just doesn't stick. So the only question I would ask, you know, people on the listeners and also, why is that? Why is that? Um, I have my own views and opinions on it. Um, all I can do is genuinely try to learn from what happened then and the whys and wherefores, and believe you me, there's nobody questioned me more than me. Um, I've forgiven myself. I think that the, the people involved at that time have forgiven me. Um, 
and I get on with my life. But there isn't a day goes by where I'm not reminded by it on Twitter or on Periscope or whatever. And it's um, if that's not punishment enough, then mm. I'm not sure what is. If